Part one, VJZ, VJZ, back with another deck of VJZ, we have the NPC Impressions Foil, Gold, Silver, and Bronze decks. The Bronze is a stretch goal that they hit. And here we go. The front, of course, beautiful uh, foil in the color of that deck. And it's got that touchy feeling uh, UV spot ink that they use, says NPCMakePointGuards.com. Touch and feel, you can actually feel it, and it says impressions for our point cards. On the side, more of the gold, silver, and bronze says makepointcards.com, specialized in custom made cards. The other side, all sorts of ad copy. Top, making cards since 1982. The bottom of barcode and more NPC info made in China. The back, you see the front and back of a card. And it says gold foil tree back linen point cards. And the other ones are obviously silver foil and bronze foil. And the seal is just an NPC seal. There's big point cards on it as well. And trademark stuff on the flap. Yeah, I wonder where I got that idea from. And the cards are very tight in the top case. Inside, you do get an NPC ad card slash promo card. You can save $5 on your order. There's a coupon code. The Jokers, they are the traditional NPC Jokers. This one's in blue with Joker in the corner, and this one is in red. The back design is where it's at, though. The UV embossed foil back design. Very nice. You can actually, like I said, in my previous reviews, you can feel all that. It's very shiny. Very nice. The Aces, Aces page is NPC and makepointcards.com on the bottom. Nice pips. I've always liked these pips, they're pretty cool. And the court cards are very nice. Red, yellow, and purple color scheme. Kind of a USB C type court card with a different body and different pips. A nice color scheme, though. And then the number cards again, the standard NPC. And that is that. That's the gold. Let's look at silver. Like there. Very nice. And then the bronze. I do have one criticism for this, and that is how the project was run. Because NPC is the producer, they ran the projects themselves, they produced their cars themselves. And there was unnecessary and completely avoidable delays because they should have made sure that everything was ready to go and produce by the time they launched the project, if not by the time they ended the project. In fact, they could have produced these before they even started the project and had them ready to go. Because they knew it was going to get funded anyway. I'm pretty sure they had a pretty good idea it would fund. I certainly did. So why not? Um, and then the other thing, of course, is again, like they said, I said they had like production issues and stuff like that. Why? They've done this before many times. They've had several variations of the impressions for all cards. I don't see why all of a sudden they were having production issues. But that, all that aside, get it aside. <laughs> um, this seemed like a good time to move those out of the way. All that aside, they are beautiful cards. I think I spit on there a little bit. <laughs> and very shiny, sexy. And they handle pretty good. Look at that. So they did produce a good quality product. 
The other thing with all that as well was the communication. Like, they told us, they posted an update whenever it was, August, September, that things are getting ready to ship out, and then nothing. And then they finally posted an update a while later saying, oh, we're having issues. And it's like, well, why did they post an update saying they're getting ready to ship? And apparently, it's just the person that was running the project was unavailable. They didn't know what was going on. And there ended up being some issues and they weren't made aware of it or they weren't able to update for some reason backwards because you can't do that from a cell phone for some reason. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there was some issues. Communication as well. But all that being said, still beautiful decks. They handle pretty good. They're obviously a lot thicker than a standard deck because of the embossing and foil. Because this is all embossed. You can feel all those details there. A fair bit thicker than a standard card. But they handle good. They look pretty good. I'm happy with them. And uh, I don't know if there's going to be any more impressions foil decks. They pretty much done all the main colors. I don't know how they can top gold, silver, and bronze anyway. It's, um, it might be time for a new back design. That's what I would say. But this is basically their rider back. The tree back. <laughs> anyway, all that is said and done, I would say I would give these I'll give them a bronze, a gold, and a silver. Yes, they're good, I would say. Uh -huh. 9 out of 10. They're pretty good. I like them. They handle good. They feel nice. A little bit thick. Some people might not like that thickness, but they're it's unavoidable. Unavoidable. Anyways, that is that. Don't forget to check out the website, makepointclaws.com. And again, special thanks to the sponsor of the channel, Murphy's Magic, for helping out. And also special thanks to all of you for watching the videos and commenting and rating and subscribing. Don't forget to like. Let's get 100 likes. Probably not going to happen, but comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.